Oh my gosh. I'm gonna save the best for last because there's something really neat in the bottom of the bag that I've never seen before. Hello all, hello all you trash picking watchers. It is another trash bag reveal here at Paper and Moose. It will probably be a two bag day today. This one looks like it might just contain some pillows. But what's in the bottom of the bag? No idea. Gotta get the gloves on and get in there and find out. This bag from the top and from the feel of it looks like it's just going to be pillows or maybe a comforter sheet, maybe some linens. Hello one. Seat cushion or pillow, two. Total 70s and 80s. Ooh, surprise, there's some nice fabric in here. Oh yeah, this is great fabric. That was a shock to me, I thought it'd be all pillows in there. A Waverly bonded fabric, a Deerfield. How nice. Look at that nice pattern. Very pretty. That's a keeper. Wash that up. Some more of this tool, I believe it's called. If it's not called that, then I've been saying it wrong all this time. Um, another slip. Wash that up some more nice fabric. This has the little, um, a couple, ooh, I wish there would have been that one. Samples. Look how cute that fabric was. Oh, these are all samples on the top. I guess that's so you could try and see what you wanted. That's another great piece. We'll put that aside. Birds are active today. These curtains we have seen before. Looks like it's some more curtains. Green felt. Another nice top. I think that goes with that piece. More curtains. Another slip. Shout all these slips, but I haven't found that many dresses. I found a few dresses, but not a whole bunch. Maybe they'll be in the next pile of bags. Oh, what's this brown shirt? Another button up. This one does have some bleaching on the front. It looks like the rest of the bag is just, oh, what's this top? Made in Italy by Frerica. Look at that cute label. With a little penguin on it. That's just a plain black shirt. Another nice, wow, that one's fancy. If any of you know what that bird is, let me know. Styled by June Clyde. Wow, look at that. That's for going out on the town. Yep, the bottom, we just have fabric. Looks like, and more slips. That was a surprise bag. I didn't expect that it was close to be in there. On to the next bag. This bag is a bag within a bag. It's a dress. I believe so. Yep, it's a dress. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. That is so cute. And I think it will fit. This looks handmade. It will be mine now. I'll put that aside. What's this one? Oh, they're little baby clothes. We haven't come across any of those. We came across children's toilets, but not little baby shirts. Carters, three years old. 
I did find those little girl dresses. Oh. Can you imagine they kept these for all those years? Oh, here's something I want. This is a top. You would tie in the front. There's another little baby. Two little baby shirts. What if there's a whole bag of baby clothes? Ooh, I like this. Another great sleeveless button up top with the bag having a really nice design on it. Uh, again, I've said it, I will never have to go, I won't have to go shopping this summer for summer clothes because I will be stuffed and looking pretty cool. Uh, pretty beat up stained Brooks Lane sportswear men's shirt. Definitely got his use out of that. This looks like, you know, working on the car or out in the garage shirt. Or it became that kind of shirt. Is this another dress? Hope Reed Classics. <gasps> this, this is fancy. I think this is one of the fancier dresses we have found. Look at the buttons. Pockets, because dresses with pockets, you can't beat them. I'm gonna have to see about cleaning this one up. Then I can wear one of the vintage sl slips underneath it, too. So nice. Even with the staining, like to me, that, that doesn't matter. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna save the best for last, because there's something really neat in the bottom of the bag that I've never seen before. Is this a dress? I believe it is. This would be good for St. Patrick's Day. I don't know why, but it reminds me of it with the plaid. All right. I'm gonna save that. So you're going to want to keep watching because there's something really neat at the bottom of this bag. A whole bunch of nylons. I don't know if there's a market for these because these are the classic old nylons. I will have to see because you just never know in today's world. Oh my gosh, a boot parker, waterproof, washable, unbreakable. That's so cute bag. Oh. <gasps> This is the crepe paper that is supposed to look like your fireplace. We have a little angel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well mine is the pine cones because we're not, I'm not keeping pine cones. <gasps> I should prop this up on something so you can see the goodness inside of this bag. Yeah. All right, are you ready? I am excited. I'm going to take out the, the thing that is amazing to me first so that it does not get damaged when I see what else is in the bottom of the bag. Do you see what I see? I see vintage Christmas and I've never seen this before. Oh my gosh. Come on. Let's get, get your cord out there. All right. Oh my gosh, the cord is even in great shape. Look at this. This royal light decoration is lighted by AC seven and a half candelabra based bulb. This is so cool. I have never seen one like this. And it's not cracked or broken. The plug is still in really nice condition. It still has the bulb in the back with a little door to cover it. And look how cute that little Santa is. What a find. Man, 
Unbelievable. I did not expect that at the bottom of this bag at all. And I'm so glad that it has been saved. That is great. That staying in my personal collection. And then we have all sorts of other things. Of course, these, it's a shame because these have become so brittle because they're so old that they don't even stay on the, um, the vine anymore, I'll say. We have some rain. Oh, there was something. This. Ow. Flameproof cotton. I might have to save this bag. I hope this, oh, it sounds like it's broken. Darn it, maybe I can glue it. Or maybe it's not a piece of it. No, so here's another nativity. It is, it has broken. Looks like it's been broken a couple times. A shiny bright product, Max Eckert and Sons, New York. I'm gonna have to save this for myself. It must have been well loved because they did keep repairing it and they kept all the pieces together. I really hope they keep putting bags out because, oh, here's another little one. I love being able to save all of this from the trash. What's in here? A jump rope? I don't know. A jump rope. Oh, look at that bag. Christmas plastic table bag. Ooh, this is nice. So it has beads all over it, but then look how, I wonder if that's Bakelite. Look how lovely the color on the socket, I guess you could say is. These are great. This, bear with me now. This would be really cool. This is definitely older. Look at that plug. This would be really neat to put the old they actually have some in here. I'm just gonna find one. Oh, that's a nice one. Um, put the old bulbs in. I think just red and green would look good. Fortunately, I have plenty of them. And use it as a type of garland over a doorway or in some of your decor. Or even honestly, put it like this with maybe a few bulbs and just have it out as decoration. These are, I really like this. I would not use this. I am very um, hesitant to use older type of plugs. This actually looks pretty good though, but still not gonna do it. But as a, for decor, great. What a great bag. <laughs> this is the winner. I'm just shocked that it is not broken or in bits and pieces. So, so neat. It's really nice to be able to save these items from the trash and find something that I've never seen before out there and add it to my collection and know that this could have been out to the landfill and never seen again. So, really, really cool. This is a good day, a good trash bag day. So thank you for joining. Hope you have a great day. If you're out there thrifting, going to yard sales, flea markets, lucky you. Um, hope you find your treasure. Thanks again for watching. See you all next time.